Hi class, uh, now this is going to be about two-point perspective. So we start the same way we do with one point, by drawing a line across the paper. That's our horizon line, or eye level, or eye line. But instead of one point, you're going to put two points. Put A and B. Now, you're going to, at some point oh, between the two, draw a vertical line, and that's going to be part of your building that we're going to build. I'm going to join from point A to the two ends of that line, and then from point B to the other ends of the line. To the, okay, now you can see it's starting to take some shape. And then you're going to create the rest of the box with two vertical lines, arbitrarily, anywhere you want them, as long as there's one on either side of that first line that you drew. Okay. Now you're going to go back and sort of strengthen the lines of the box or the building or whatever it is that you're drawing. It could be the back of a truck, it could be a car, it could be a house, it could be anything. And then with the eraser, get rid of all these extra lines so that you can actually see the shape three-dimensional shape that you've drawn. Just don't erase your vanishing points, A or B. Okay. So now, let's add a second building. We're going to put it over lower and over on the other side of the paper. Make it about the same size, smaller, I guess. I'm going to make it smaller. And doing the same thing from B, vanishing point B, to the top and the bottom of the line vertical line. This creates the two sides of your building from A, same way you did the other one exactly, from A. Now, you don't need to draw your line all the way to A anymore or all the way to B. You can kind of figure out how far you need to go with it because you just have to erase it anyway. So here we will pick an arbitrary point again where we want the building to end on the left and where we want it to end on the right. Now here we have to figure out how to draw that top part. Where is that fourth point of this top rectangle going to come? So this is how we do it. You draw from B to the top corner on the left, and then you draw from, okay, now I'm making a mistake here. No, don't do that. From A, forget that one, A to the top corner on the right. And where they cross each other is the other, the point. Now you see how different that is than if you had just done it by hand. By hand you probably would have done a completely different shape. Remember this is perspective, this is literal, this is not necessarily how our eyes see things, so it is a little bit different. So erase, draw those lines back in again so you can find them. Okay, now clean up a little bit around what you drew. <clears throat> so now you see you've got two buildings. Um, you still have your point B vanishing point. You just clean it up a little. Good. Remember, at this point, we're just doing sketches. You're just learning how to do this. Uh, if you guys already know how to do it, then you can just do some quick sketches just to refresh yourself and then move on. <clears throat> now let's draw another building, but let's put it in a different place. Let's just experiment and see what happens. Part of this process right now is experimenting to see what the result will be. learning how to use this tool so that you can eventually do it without even having to draw those lines. I mean, you, can, you, you always want to have the vanishing points. You know, where do I go here? Do I just make it up? No. I go from B to the far bottom this time of the left vertical. And then I go from A to the bottom of the right vertical. And where those two lines cross, is where my rectangle, the fourth point.
point of my right hand nose. All right. Now, I'm racing those lines, but this this is sort of a weak little building box here. So I think what I'm going to do is extend it taller. So I've just, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, eh, it's just not really that interesting. So I'm going to extend it higher. I'm going to extend that line up. All right. And then I'm going to redraw from the vanishing points. I crossed out those two lines. I don't want those. I'm going to redraw from the vanishing points. And then redraw those verticals. Notice that the square underneath that we got from drawing opposite to different opposite vanishing points doesn't change, even though you've made the box taller. So you, in doing this, you should get a sense for how this is supposed to look. So as you go along, you'll know if you're making a mistake. I make mistakes all the time doing this because it can get very confusing once you start putting a lot of these boxes in here or if you want to start layering boxes on top of each other. It can get very confusing. So you have to start to trust your eye. Um, a lot of it is going to look odd because again it's perspective it's very foreshortened and it doesn't look as realistic as some things but right now we just want to learn how to do it properly and then you will be able to move forward with any landscape drawing or any kind of architectural drawing like if you wanted to draw the buildings on campus you would use this okay so what we're doing now is what happens, I'm experimenting, what would happen if I drew a big building right over the others? Now because I put it at this angle, the, the line high, there's no top and no bottom. It's in a very extreme, extreme view of this building. And I just made it very wide. Now I'm going to erase all the buildings that are inside so it will eventually it will look like it is blocking your view of the other buildings. And then you tell me whether you think it looks real or if it, if it looks weird, if there's something wrong with it. So at this point, you would decide, well, geez, was that wrong? Did I do it wrong? Maybe I shouldn't have done that altogether. Maybe I should go back and fill in my other buildings again. I don't know. What do you think? What's odd about it is there's no way that that building that I'm just drawing now could possibly sit on top of those other buildings. It's just impossible. So this was sort of a failed experiment right here. So in doing this, you would learn, oh, can't do that. But that's how you figure it out. Okay, now we're going to go on to doing, um, yeah, like, does it work? No, it doesn't work. Now we're going to go on to doing more two-point perspective, but with additional perspective uh, vanishing points to help you, okay? So we're going to do A, B, and C, A, B, and C. You will always, in what we're doing now, you're going to use either A and B or B and C. I have not experimented to see what would happen if one building used A and B and one building used A and C, but that would be an experiment to do. So now I'm not even using my ruler very much. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, to gauge it, but I'm going to have to actually do this to get the feeling for this top of this building. Okay. So again, using from the top left to B and the top right to A and where they cross, that shows me where the edge of my building at the top is, where that point is, okay? Now I'm going to build something over here and use B and C instead of A and B. One good thing about this is, let's say you wanted to do a drawing almost on a scroll. You wanted to do a long, maybe a 
two and a half feet long drawing of just an expanse of buildings. So you would need to keep adding different vantage points because um, when it gets that far, you'll get such extreme angles, it might not work. So let's say you were trying to draw like the New York City and Queens and Brooklyn. How would you do that on this small piece of paper? So you could get a much larger piece of paper and you could just keep adding vantage points or vanishing points and um, keep moving over. Because if you walked along a big city like that, you would have a different vanishing point. Now, how about we try adding to a building, adding some stuff on top of it. Um, you've all seen those buildings, you know, that are usually a town hall where they just, it's almost like they put one box on top of the next, on top of the next. So here we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to put it, oh, we're not quite sure where to put it. Let's just experiment and put it right about there. And again, you do the exact same thing, you got the B and the A. All right. And then you got to make it actually work like it's on top of the building. I mean, you could have you could have it actually extend past the top of the building if you wanted to. I wonder what would happen if you did that. All right, so it's not quite working. You can just see it's not quite working. So I want to go in with my ruler and double check that I did everything correctly because it's just off. I'm not sure what is off. Oh, well, that's there. Okay, that one seems maybe it's a little off. I did do that with my hand, I believe. So let's get that one first. Yeah, see, I had, yeah, I had raised a little too much that one. Now I think it's going to look a little bit better. Just proof that you do kind of need to use your ruler. All right. So now we've got one building or one box on top of another box. Come back in with that line. Okay. So that could be, you know, the elevator shaft of a building. Now what if we wanted to do another one on top of it? How would we do that the exact same way? Just play with it. And there we've got another one on top. That's how you do a tower. Good luck.